Hey YouTube, Tom Houston with Tom Houston Photography here and in this video I will be reviewing my 50mm f1.4 D. I don't know how this lens slipped through the cracks but I forgot to review it so I'm going to review it now for you guys. This is a fixed um, focal length so it's a prime lens or fixed lens at 50 millimeters with a maximum aperture of 1.4 which is quite large it is a spectacular lens I had the 51.8 which just has a not as good bokeh and a um, doesn't open up as wide in terms of its aperture it was a great lens it was light it was cheap it was like inexpensive and wasn't built super well um, but it's still an amazing lens and then I upgraded to the 51.4 and it was amazing this is a stellar lens the bokeh on this is amazing I would say it's almost as good as the 85 1.4 this is a very small lens it's very light um, for a lens it's well built though it, it does have some weight to it in terms of that but it's not a heavy lens it's quite quite small it has the the focal um, distance um, window here which is great still got the aperture ring because it's a D lens overall it is a great great lens I haven't used it too much on my full frame camera yet so I cannot speak to really what it looks like on FX but with my D90 I have used this a ton it on a this lens on a DX camera is roughly around 75 millimeters which is almost um, for me my sweet spot for portraits so this was a amazing portrait lens on my DX I'm sure it will still be a good portrait lens on my full frame camera however just more um, wider of a shot it has amazing bokeh as I said so it's great for portraits it's lightweight it's good because it won't if you have a, a shy model this isn't very scary to have on the front of your camera it's nice and small it's not scary big lens so it's also good to be uh, a walk around lens because it's conspicuous uh, it's got a 52 yep 52 millimeter front um, filter which is nice and small so if you want to add filters to that they're cheap I will show you the aperture so it opens up really large the whole thing so it's a great great lens for that I'll keep this nice and short because it's just an amazing lens I would highly highly recommend getting a 50 and if you have the extra couple of dollars I would highly recommend getting the 1.4 I'll toss up some photos at the end of this video just so you can see what I've taken with this lens again I highly recommend it um, I've used it tons I will keep using it the 85 millimeter I have um, will be used probably more than this lens however I need a wider shot this is my go-to lens for portraits if it's not the 85 so with that I will end it here so if you have any questions comments anything just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out just toss those on a comment below uh, you can follow my photography on my blog or my Twitter or my Facebook now. So I will put those links down below. And if you want to check out all of my photography, I upload my portfolio basically on my website, which I will also post the link below. Thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy my photos coming up after this. Cheers.